Hey there, this is a quick comparison, a side-by-side -side comparison to show you the difference between um, a server render and the client-side render on Parsec. And just to so you, give you an idea of latency on a local network. So these two devices on the left-hand side, the left-hand screen is a virtual machine running on top of server 2016. It's running Windows 10 and it has a M2000 Quadro GPU passed through to it. And I've installed Parsec software onto it and then I've connected a Intel box to the right hand side um, of the screen and this is just running an Intel Z8300 um, and its job here is to be the client device so I'm currently connected to this device on the right hand side and that's sending the signals to the display on the left hand side and in turn that's sending a video signal back um, via a GPU encoding. So let's just give you a quick demonstration. Um, I'll give you an idea of, so the game is currently sitting at 60 FPS. Um, it's in a cutscene at the moment and so you, so this is represented twice because this is just a, a Steam inbuilt frame counter but I also have Fraps over here on the right hand side and that's counting the application, Parsec's client's application rendering frames. So how many frames per second it receives from the server. So that's how many frames the client's receiving per second from the server and able to display. All right, so let's get back into it. And let's just uh, skip the, get, we'll get back even further and we'll just skip the cutscene because we don't really care about that so much. So let's just skip that. Sorry about the blurry video because I am hand holding this. But hopefully, but you can kind of see even through the cutscene there's very little latency between the two. In fact, I measured it in it. It's about one frame. So you're going to get about one frame of latency between these two things. Please don't um, take anything into the color quality difference between the two. Um, I think this is actually how the display is processing in HDMI connection versus the mini display port connection um, in each respective display. So, in its respective inputs. So let's just skip through it again, but you can kind of get an idea. And let's just look at that frame counter. All right. So it's running at about 30 at the moment, but it's been sent at 60. But I think this is a 30 frames per second clip, so it doesn't really matter. And I think that's what's ha naturally happening. So let's cut through it and we'll go to the game. All righty, so now we're in game. And you can see that we're running at 58 frames per second or 61 on each server, which is the same. And we're pretty much matching it with our frame decoding capability. So Parsec is capturing the frames from the video game and sending it across the LAN and decoding it at almost no loss whatsoever. If we look closely, there's a small quality difference between the two, but that's to be expected when you're encoding to video. All right, so let's just have a look. We'll just move the mouse around quickly, and you can kind of see there's a really good parity between my movements on here, uh, on the actual game. And please note, this is my my mouse commands have actually been sent from the client side to the server side. And then the action's performed, it renders, and it gets encoded by Parsec. It sends it back across the network, decodes it, and then um, displays it on the screen. So it's amazing.